Welcome back to the stovetop. This Cocktails with Squib video is, once again, another reshoot. I shot the original video yesterday. I made this cocktail for the very first time, tried it out for the first time yesterday. And after thinking it over this morning, I decided I needed to reshoot it and I'll explain why. So today's cocktail is called a Blue Monday. It has three ingredients. It's very simple to make. It uses triple sec, any orange liqueur, it uses vodka. In this case, I'm using Lake Life Vodka from New Holland Brewing Company right here in Michigan, but you can use any vodka. And this is where I made the mistake. This is Blue Curacao. I mispronounced it several times in the video. And I try to be uh, somewhat accurate in these videos. Now, this is amateur bartending. You can see I use shot glasses to measure with. In my initial videos, I was using a regular spoon. Later, I got a bar spoon. So if you watch these videos long enough, you'll see a progression where I might get better at doing certain things. I might use better terminology, more accurate terminology. I might start investing in equipment that is a little bit more uh, professional, but this is amateur bartending, so I'm going to screw up. However, I can correct this one simply. Blue Carousel. So, let me mix up the cocktail and I'll tell you what I think of it all over again. Alright, so we have a quarter ounce, it's a little bit more than a quarter ounce, of blue carousel. We have an ounce and a half of vodka and we have half an ounce of triple sec. I simply combine them into my shaker. That's a little bit more than half full of ice. So first the blue carousel. Dump in the vodka. And last, the triple sec. Go ahead and shake it up. And then I'm going to pour it into a martini glass that I've had chilling in the freezer. We strain it into the glass. See, it's got a nice, kind of a, a sky blue color. All right. And for garnish, I'm going to take an orange peel and simply run it around the rim of the glass. This is to kind of give it a bit of a, a bitter taste. All right. Now, what I noticed about this yesterday was that it really wasn't that strong in taste. It might be one of those cocktails that you might want to serve to a guest who maybe doesn't drink a lot, but they kind of want to have a cocktail. Or it's because of the blue color and the martini glass, it's, it's kind of unusual in my opinion. So maybe if you have company over, you know, you might say, have you ever had a Blue Monday? Oh, here, let me make you up one. I mean, it's real simple to make. You can, okay, this one is a little bit, maybe I measured it better. Okay, so yesterday I put maybe more like half an ounce of blue carousel in there, and that was the overwhelming taste. Today I got it more accurate. I got it closer down to a quarter of an ounce, so I could actually taste all three. I could taste the triple sec, which is orange, right? The, the, the carousel is orange as well, but it's kind of a bitter orange. Uh, more so than the triple sec. And I could even taste the vodka somewhat. So if you wanted to tone down the vodka, I would say turn up the, the carousel a little bit. But actually, I kind of like this one better than, than the one I made yesterday. And it's it's definitely uh, good in uh, a chilled glass. And uh, mixing it chills it. It's nice and refreshing. It's still, even though I can taste taste all three uh, alcohols in this, it's still, it's not overwhelming. It's actually pretty good. So, the Blue Monday. It's a simple cocktail to make. It looks a little bit different. It tastes a little bit different. I think you'd like it. Thanks for watching.